The treaty that ended the Mexican-American War in 1848 gave the United States some 500,000 square miles of new territory from Texas to the Pacific coast. But it was the Gadsden Purchase that actually completed the continental United States. The Gadsden Purchase is this wonderful tiny little piece of land that gets uh, purchased about nine years after the treaty. But it's a very significant piece of land. When the federal government began laying tracks for the Transcontinental Railroad, it discovered a critical piece of territory was still owned by Mexico. It discovers that it needs that last little piece um, of the Gadsden Purchase to create the southern route uh, that will go from El Paso uh, to Los Angeles and link up uh, not only the southern part of the United States, but central Mexico as well to El Paso and out to these ports in Los Angeles. Railroad executive James Gadsden was dispatched to broker a deal with Mexico for the property, which is now southwestern New Mexico and southern Arizona. The United States paid $10 million for the Gadsden Purchase. So it's purchased very quickly, very quietly, and for quite a large sum of money, actually, from the Mexican government um, to obtain that last piece of property. Um, and that's, that's the last piece that finally makes the United States a coast-to-coast Um, nation and gives us the, the geography that we all know today.